my channel. My name's Ashley and today I am so excited. We are going to decorate the coffee bar and my kitchen for spring and Easter. I know, I know it took me a while to get this video out there, but I wanted to hurry up and get it out because we don't have much time left before Easter comes. So if you're excited to see how beautiful everything came out, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications for even more Easter and spring decorating coming your way. All right, so let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get the coffee bar ready for Easter. All right, well, we are going to start on the top shelf. And as you can see, I already have my Cottontail Cafe uh, little sign hanging up. And yes, I did make that last year. So cute. So then I'm going to go in with these cute little egg topiaries on either side. Next, I'm going to add my Ray Dunn uh, Hello Spring tea pie, and I just think that's so cute. Now, you're going to see that the theme in my kitchen, of course, is Easter and spring, but it's blush pink. I really pushed the blush pink because I just think it's so pretty. So next, I'm going to add this pink little birdhouse on one side of my shelf. Then I'm going to add this cute little bunny. I actually picked this up this year and you'll be proud of me this is one of the few things I picked up this year and I had to have it because of the mushroom if you've been following me you know that uh, I have a thing with mushrooms because my grandma's family actually owned a mushroom business so I always try to collect things with mushrooms that other bunny I got last year and both those both came from Target. Next I got this canister. Uh, actually you're going to see that I have three canisters. I got them on major clearance last year from Hobby Lobby and now I'm going to go in and add some clay pots. Now these are the very mini clay pots that came from the Dollar Tree and I just dry brushed some white paint like years ago on them. Now this one kept rolling, so all I did was add some tape to it, and look at that, it stayed perfectly still. So it does need to be moved over a little bit, but I'll get to it. All right, next I'm gonna go in with just these little pieces of greenery that I took off of a garland, and I'm gonna stick a little piece in each one of the clay pots, and then I'm gonna go in with a speckled egg on each one. Now I thought that this came out adorable, and you're gonna see the finishing touch, you know, in a little bit uh, to what I do to these shelves or the whole coffee bar, which I really think just brings the whole thing together. Moving down to the second shelf, I'm going to bring in this Ray Dunn Spring Bunny canister on one side and another one of those uh, canisters on the other. And now I'm going to go in with this egg holder. And yes, it did have words, but I turned it around. That way, you know, too many words. And now I'm going to go in with this wooden little fan here and this uh, egg farm fresh eggs plate I got a couple of years ago and I just kind of propped them up. Now I'm going to go in with this like squirter thing <laughs> on one side and then a clay pot with this cute little uh, ball of like plants or greenery. Next I'm going to go in with another clay pot but uh, on its side and then I just had this stem that I'm going to go ahead and put inside the clay pot here. Now you will notice that I have a canister on the top and a canister on the bottom on the same side. I actually did not notice that until I was editing this. So I have since, since switched the two. I put the spring bunny on the other side and it just looks so much better. Uh, now again, I had already recorded and edited this. So, um, you know, in the final piece or in the final look, it's going to look the same, but just know that if that's bugging you, it bugged me and I'm, I switched it. <laughs> All right. So next I'm going to go in just with some little, uh, embellishments, some little pieces on either side. And then of course, the last thing that we have to do is add eggs to our little egg holder. So all of these eggs either came from the Dollar Tree or from Hobby Lobby, but I just put a bunch of different colors. Now these do not you know, sit straight up, which does kind of bug me a little bit. I don't know how I got them to stay straight up last year. I don't know if I put like glue dots on the bottom, which is a really good idea that you could do. But either way, uh, I thought that this came out super cute. And again, I'm going to add the greenery, which I think just makes it look so much better. 
Now, one thing that I didn't mention earlier in my intro is that I do go ahead and decorate my living room in this video as well. This was just an afterthought because it didn't really take me that long. I was going to have it in another video, but I thought, hey, you know what? It's done. So I'm just going to add it in this one. So stay tuned to see how my living room came out too. Okay, moving down to the coffee bar itself, we are going to uh, decorate a tiered tray. I always keep this tiered tray on here. I, I still like tiered trays. I know they're on their way out, but I still like to decorate one. So I'm going to go in with this Happy Spring uh, Ray Dunn candle, and it smells so good. I love it. And then I just had a bunch of like little cooking utensils that I thought that I would add just in a little vessel, and then a little bunny, a rolling pin. Uh, I have some wooden beads. So you're just going to see me add a whole bunch of... Of different things now my trick to tiered trays are I always have my staple pieces like that little white vessel that the utensils are in I always have that and then kind of just change it up every season as for what goes in it and then I always have this creamer and sugar set on there I tend to go with the whites that way you know ever all the little white pieces that way you can just kind of add things to it uh, per season and the way that I'm decorating now is yes there are a lot of bunnies and there are a lot of happy Easter things uh, so my plan is after Easter is to take down all the bunnies and anything specific for Easter and then just keep up anything blush pink, flowery, things that I can pass off as spring. So like this truck, I just put eggs in it, but I, after Easter, I might take those out and just put some flowers in the back or something. So uh, I am planning on, you know, switching it from Easter to just spring and also you know, that is one good thing about Easter being early this year is that you I can really get, you know, a long time with all of my um, de decor, you know, minus the bunnies and things like that. So I am just going to finish kind of arranging my tiered tray. This did take me a hot minute to try to figure out uh, where I wanted to uh, place different things, but I really loved all the colors and on this tiered tray and... Um, yeah, I just, I'm really pushing that blush pink. All right, so here are those little stems that I said that I took off a of garland. And you're going to see that I use these a lot, uh, just all throughout my kitchen and really my house. Because I just think it completely elevates your decor. So while I finish up my tiered tray, I do want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name's Ashley. I'm a wife and a mama of two, a six-year-old and a one-year-old. And if you love all things home decor, cleaning, organizing, decorating, shopping, this is the channel for you. But I keep it real life around here. I live in leggings. My hair is usually in a messy bun. This is a rare occasion that it's actually down. <laughs> I barely ever wear makeup and I am just trying to get through this thing called life. So if you can relate to any of that, definitely hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. And if you don't mind, give this video a like if you're loving what you see so far. All right, so after my tiered tray, it's time to add some coffee mugs. And so I'm just going to add these cute ones uh, to my mug rack. Now, I know I said something about like a lot of words, and I know Ray Dunn is completely out, but I still like these pieces. And hey, I have them. I'm going to use them. So, of course, I'm going to add a mug to my Keurig. <laughs> and then I always add a little towel to the bottom just to add some color down there. And now I'm going to go through and add more of that greenery just in some bare spots all throughout my shelves. And like I said earlier, this just brought it all together and really helped fill in those little blank spots. And so I just added this greenery wherever I could. And that's it. That completes my coffee bar for Easter. What do you think? Sing, won't you sing with me? Leave everything for me. Stay the night, oh, miss your flight Walk through the rain with me Get soaked to the skin, feel free Shut the world out Let's hang out Oh, I used to see in colors
into the kitchen. I am going to decorate this little tray and I am just taking this canister just to use to prop my little cutting boards on. So this is a cutting board I think I got from the Target Dollar Spot years ago. And then I'm just going to layer on this cute cutting board from the Dollar Tree a few years ago. I just love like the, the pastels. Also, you know, you're going to see that I use a lot of pastels in my kitchen. I just think they're so pretty, especially for spring and Easter. Next, I'm going to go in with this little bowl and I did stuff it with a towel and then I'm going to layer in another one of these towels and actually these are napkins they're not even towels I got these on super sale last year at Hobby Lobby and so I just kind of use them as layering pieces and next I'm going to go in and fill in my bowl with all of these speckled eggs and I just thought that these were so cute especially since the sign behind it says Cottontail and Co egg farm next I'm going to go in with this little basket and I just stuck some greenery in there and I absolutely love how this little tray came out. The last thing I'm going to do is add this little bird from Hobby Lobby and ugh, I'm in love with this little tray. And again, I'm going to go in and add these little touches of the greenery everywhere. Now to hide this outlet, I'm going, I just added a couple tea towels to my little towel ladder. Now my knife set actually used to be over there, but we put it in the cabinet above just to kind of clear off some counter space and I really love it. Moving on to the oven, I'm gonna add this little candle. This came from Home Goods this year. I could not find my spring candle. I think I used it all through summer too, so it was probably done for <laughs> last year, but it's called Honey Blossom and it is. it smells so good. Then I'm gonna add this cute little towel to my handle uh, in my of my oven and I did add a wreath up top I just didn't uh, record it but then I have this little utensil holder too now this setup here is straight from Valentine's Day and I do have that pink utensil holder which I think is perfect or crock I should call it so I just thought I would just add my Easter and spring uh, little baking tools here so I'm just adding these in just to add the pops of color pops of spring and then I did forget that I wanted to put a little tea towel underneath this just to add even more color. So I'm going to go ahead and move that over and add a little tea towel to this. Look how cute. And again, I can use, you know, this setup, just kind of take out the bunnies, take out the uh, things that specifically say Easter. So now I'm going to layer in a cutting board, which I thought is perfect because of the little flowers. I'm going to add a little bunny, although you're going to see that I actually move that and I add something different. But then I have these salt and uh, pepper shakers and their little eggs. And so I thought that these would be perfect to add right in the top because it's functional decor as well. Okay, so here is where I'm going to go ahead and remove this bunny and I'm gonna replace it with this bunny. I just felt like it needed more color over here, but look how cute, I just love this bunny. I have no idea where I got it from. I've had it for years and years, but I just thought it was adorable. Moving down to this little hangy rack, I'm going to add this tea towel that I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance last year. And that little cutting board is actually always there. It's just the perfect spot for it. Then I got this oven mitt from the Target, Do no, I'm sorry, from Dollar Tree Plus last year. It's just perfect. Now this little tobacco basket, I am actually going to keep here all year round too. I just really love it there. And then you're going to kind of see me play with this a little bit and add things here and there and just move things around. Uh, I added these tulips, which I thought they were so cute. I'm going to add a little beaded garland that has like a little chick on it. And I think that's all that I add. Oh no, I add wooden um, measuring spoons too, uh, which I just felt like I wanted to add more of that like natural look, the wood look. So I thought that that was really cute. But like I said, I'm kind of just moving things around and just trying to figure out how I like it. So you'll see what I came up with in just a few seconds.
Next, we're going to go ahead and move over to um, on top of my refrigerator. I like to decorate this because it's just a big empty space and it's kind of ugly. So I'm going to go in with a Ray Dunn uh, birdhouse and a canister. And it does have words, but I just flipped it around so you can't see. This is where a lot of like the big heavy stuff is going to go since I can't really put it out, you know, where my baby could reach it. And then look at these cute boots. I don't know if you caught that, but it said April showers and that's a candle and it smells so good good then look at that I love that little piece so much and then I thought you know what this would be super springy so I added a bicycle and just a, a simple plant I have a few of those and so I just threw it right on top and then I decided to go back in with that rose garland uh, that I actually took out I just felt like that made it even more springy. So I, I really do love how the top of my refrigerator came out. I did not like it last year. It just wasn't, I don't know. It was just too cluttery. I did not like it. So I really took my time and played a lot with, uh, this, uh, to get it just right. So, um, and then that's it. That's the top of my refrigerator. Moving on to my little hangy rack thing here. Um, in my mind, I just had like garden, spring garden, Easter garden. So I'm going to go ahead and layer in one of these napkins again. And then in the little basket, I have these beautiful... I don't even know, garlands, hanging plants. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's gorgeous. And then I thought I would add this cute little plate. I got one for each one of my girls last year and, uh, you know, to eat their breakfast on Easter. And so I just thought for now I would put that in the little basket. I'm going to go ahead and layer in this little bunny wreath. And then I'm actually going to jump down to the middle, but I'm going to add one final touch here in a little bit. I just felt like it was missing something, so you'll see what I added. Now I'm going to go in with this April showers, bring May flowers <laughs> uh, sign, and I'm going to add that. And then in front of that, I'm actually going to layer in this bunny cutting board. And I just thought it was so cute. I believe that came from Target Dollar Spot last year. So then we're going to jump down to the bottom and I'm just going to do the same thing in this basket, but going the opposite way. I'm going to add this really pretty like hangy plant <laughs> and then add another one of those plates. And then I'm going to add another one of those pink napkins kind of layering over this cutting board and this cutting board I had from Valentine's Day but I decided to keep it up because hey you know what I could use that all year round too I just think it's so cute then I have this perfect little cutting board it says cotton tail and co candy shop look how cute I got that last year from Hobby Lobby and I just thought this was perfect hanging on my little shelf here now, like I said, I did feel like the top was missing something. So I'm going to add in this little pink watering can. Look how stinking cute that is. I just thought it was perfect. So I layered it right on the top. And I just, I, I, I think that it filled that hole in perfectly. And it also brought more of that pink. Next, I'm going to move to my chicken wire shelf. And as you can see, I already added that cute sign from Hobby Lobby. And look how perfect these chocolate bunnies are. So this area is going to be mostly like about treats and candy and sweets. And I'm so sorry my arm is in this. And it's just a weird angle to shoot at, to be honest with you. But I got these chocolate bunnies years ago from a craft store that's actually no longer open near me. But I also had this little cake stand. And and I thought it would be fun to add the little Debbie uh, little cakes in there. So I'm just going to go ahead. I kept them in their packaging just because I just didn't want them all open. And honestly, I'm not really sure if this is food safe or not. So I just kept them in the packaging. And then I was able to put all of my packages in there. And I just thought they were so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the side. Now I am going to use a little uh, riser to kind of raise it up a little little bit but this is also perfect because it hid that outlet that was right there too then I'm going to go in with another one of my chocolate bunnies and next I have this bowl that says jelly beans so of course I have to put in the jelly beans except for <laughs> they went everywhere so I did go ahead and put in all of my jelly beans. Next, I have this canister. So obviously, I have to put my favorite candy, which is 
peanut M&Ms. That is an absolute must-have for every single occasion. And I had to sneak a few too. So I'm just going to go ahead and layer that in front of uh, the two little bunnies on the left-hand side. And I thought that that was perfect. I thought it was so cute. Sorry about the lighting. The sun is like beating in in the kitchen and it keeps throwing off the lighting. So I apologize. So now I'm going to add some more little clay pots and I'm going to add that greenery in there and then some more of the eggs. Now, as I was doing this, I came up with a super cute idea, which you're going to see at the end of decorating this part uh, because I had to stop call my husband to pick up something for me on his way home. And then you'll see that I added this in. So stay tuned just a minute and you're going to see what I added. But I went ahead and put that greenery in there. And then, like I said, I just kind of tucked little eggs inside of each one of those clay pots. And I thought that that was so cute. It just brought in the spring feel and the Easter, but like the fun part of Easter. So uh, now, unfortunately, I don't think these jelly beans are going to stay here because my six-year-old I already caught her several times climbing up on the uh, counter to try to get the jelly beans. So I'm probably going to have to move those. All right. Now moving down to the bottom, I just have this little crate and I just added um, the some eggs to it. Now on the other side, uh, I went ahead and added some greenery and then I had these little bowls and I just added some eggs and I did that one on each side. Okay, so now for my idea, I thought how fun would it be to stick chocolate eggs kind of throughout this little display just kind of hidden because I don't know if you read the back, but it said jelly beans, chocolate eggs, and something else. So I just thought that this was so perfect. It was, and I did, I hid them kind of in the clay pots, kind of in the greenery. So I just thought that that was super cute. Plus I'm going to use the rest of the eggs for a teacher gift that I'm going to give to my daughter's teacher. But I don't know, just a little surprise. All right, next, I thought that this was so cute. I had this bunny treats canister. And so I thought I would switch out the dog treats and go ahead and put them in the that canister instead and then I'm just going to push it to the corner right by my little shelf and now he's all ready for Easter. Moving on to my sink area. Don't mind, it's not the prettiest, but I found this for $3.50 and I just thought it was a little bit more sophisticated. So, and plus it can take me through all the seasons. I loved this. I was praying that they had a second one because I'd love to do dish soap and hand soap, but I just went ahead and put dish soap and then our bottle brought our bottle cleaner brushes on there. Say that 10 times fast, but I just love the natural wood and it's just so neutral. It can go with everything. Then I just switched out my towel. All right, moving on to my kitchen table. I'm going to add this little pitcher, home sweet home, and I love the flowers on the canister, but then I just added this little floral stem. Next, I'm going to add this piece right here, and I love it. It has the burlap or the twine covered ears with the lamb's ear, and I just take that out after Easter, and there you go. Then it's spring. So next, I'm going to go in with this cute piece. I got this last year because it reminded me of me and my two little girls. And then that is just a DIY. I don't love it there. I might switch that out. But for now, I just put in that little birdhouse. And then I just finished this off with these cute little uh, placemats that I got from Hobby Lobby. These were, to me, very springy because it kind of reminded me of like a nest, like a, a bird's nest. All right, then I also like to have a tray with napkins on my island itself. So I got those napkins from Home Goods. I loved the pink. I loved the uh, flowers. And then that was another DIY that I just kind of added there. Not again, not sure if I love it, but I think it'll work for now. So after that, that's it. And my kitchen is done. It's 2 a.m. and I can't 
fall asleep I'm just not tired I can hear the raindrops falling It's cold outside And I kind of feel like calling But it's too late now I just miss you I just miss you Such a constellation right No you to agree So now we are moving into the living room and we're going to start off with my mantle. So I first went in with this garland. I got it from Hobby Lobby and this is the garland. I actually bought two, one to put here, but then one to take all those little uh, sprig, like those little um, sprigs off. <laughs> Sorry if that makes sense. So I, I wanted to, so I could go ahead and do that. Now, this is a little trick that I like to use to raise things up. I just had that little board. It was just a sign from the dollar tree and you can tell that I did hide it with that garland and then I'm going to place this super cute picture from Walmart last year uh, right in the middle and my when I think of Easter it's that picture just the light the pastels and look at these little bunnies these came from Hobby Lobby last year as well and when I saw them I had to have them they are just so adorable so of course I got the boy and the girl I'm pretty sure they had them this year um I was just at Hobby Lobby but I didn't really look at the Easter stuff but uh, I'm pretty sure they had them so now I'm gonna go in with these logs again I want to bring in kind of the naturals the earthy tones so I like using these logs again as risers now I'm gonna go in with a bird cage and then I'm gonna put a log on the other side of the mantle and then I'm gonna go in with my white lantern Actually, it's more like a cream colored lantern. Now, in order to get the garland to stay, I am just tucking a few of the pieces underneath the log and it really does help. So that way it's not moving everywhere. So uh, just, you know, a little tip for you. So for my lantern, I decided that it would be cute to put a little nest. I did this last year, but to hold it up, I did put like a little bowl and then I was able just to prop up my nest uh, right in the front. And I, I love that. Oh, I just love those colors. For the other side, I just simply put one of these uh, greenery balls inside my lant or inside my birdcage and I thought that was super cute. Now to kind of complete this and bring in more color, I did go in with some pink roses and I just kind of spread them all throughout the mantle and I really think that this helped to kind of complete it. Now typically I would go ahead and decorate the bottom, uh, the floor of my mantle or fireplace, but because I have a one-year-old, she is getting into everything. I had it decorated for Valentine's Day and made it quite clear that I can't decorate it anymore. So unfortunately, we are going to have to skip decorating the bottom. Uh, but hey, maybe next year, maybe later in the year, uh, hopefully for Christmas, maybe. So yeah, so we are not going to decorate the uh, bottom half, but we are going to jump to the TV stand. So I got these on clearance from Hobby Lobby. They are not $13.99. They were $3.79, $3.74. And then I already had these little jars, but the problem was that the cardboard around the plant went higher than the pink uh, little planter. So what I did 
and I'm going to show you right here, was I put it inside and then ripped off the cardboard. And that seemed to help. Now, I thought about going in and adding moss um, to kind of hide the rest of that cardboard there. Um, so I still might do that. I mean, honestly, you can't even really tell. I pushed it down as far as I could. And then, of course, put the better part in the front. And then for the middle, I actually made that. It is so cute. I love it. Um, and then, of course, I put it down. One of the things broke. Um, so I just flipped it. All right, now we're going to move over to the shelf. And no, the shelf is not crooked. My camera was. I'm so sorry. So I'm going to go in with this picture. I actually took it. Does it look familiar? I took it from the kitchen table and then I ended up putting it back because I replaced it. Uh, but I did move it over there. Uh, with some florals. And then that's another DIY I made, uh, that rabbit picture. And this is the first time decorating the shelf because I didn't have it there last year. So I really had to play around with this too. So one thing about my living room is I really don't decorate a lot in here because we do use this living room obviously all the time. We, you know, we always are hanging out in it, including my one-year-old. So I really can't put much out that she could reach. But I did go ahead and put that cross up up there and then that was a DIY egg candle holder which I think is so adorable and then that was also a DIY too that bunny and then you're going to kind of see me just kind of switch up some things. I just wasn't love it, loving it. And to be completely honest, I'm still not loving it, like how I left it. But uh, so this might be one of those things that I just keep kind of looking at it and adding or taking out, you know, doing different things. But uh, for now, I think, you know, it's fine. All right. So here's where I decided to switch it out. So I took that one down and then replaced it with a pink pitcher instead. And then keep an eye out for the final look because I ended up adding a book stack underneath that bird to prop it up. And I like that better. So the last thing we're going to add are some pillows. Now I ordered these covers from Amazon and I love them. I think they're so springy and so pretty plus could carry through, um, through summer. And so I just put them over some pillows I already had and put one in each corner of my couch. Now the whole purpose of ordering those was I have big fat green pillows somewhere in my house, but do you think I could find them? No. So I'm going to have to hunt those down. But then I just added a pink little throw blanket and these cute little pillows. You'll see I have a second one here too that I put on this chair, but those actually match the sign and that's it. That's my living room. Here's one final look of the kitchen and the coffee bar. You're going to have to let me know down in the comments what you think of my spaces for Easter. I absolutely love them. I definitely am catching the spring vibes in my home. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so happy that you stopped by my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and give this video a like if you loved what you saw. Well, I guess that completes another day in the life with Ash. I'll see you soon. Bye.